The Forbes family's story begins with Sir John Forbes of the Blacklip, who had four sons, William, Alistair, Alexander, and Duncan. William became the progenitor of the Pitsligo line, Alistair founded the lines of Scalator and Inverman, while Alexander fought in the victory at Harlow in 1411, and was elevated to the peerage sometime between 1443 and 1445. Since then, the title has been handed down through successive generations, and Forbes was the premier lordship of Scotland on the Union Roll of 1701, a precedence held to this day. Throughout the 15th and 16th centuries, the Forbeses were engaged in a long and bitter struggle against the great House of Gordon, although the Forbeses' traditional enemies were the Leslies. In the 1520s, these feuds reached a climax, with murders by both sides occurring constantly. The Forbeses were involved in a struggle for religious supremacy as well, as they favored Protestantism while the Gordons remained defiantly Catholic. The feud culminated in two battles in 1571 and required two Acts of Parliament to force the clans to put down their arms. Despite the conflicts that plagued the region, members of the Forbes family achieved military distinction for their country. James O'Conquer, the 17th Lord Forbes, was an officer in the Coldstream Regiment of Foot Guards and rose to the rank of general. He was responsible for the building of Castle Forbes, which is still occupied by the direct descendants of Duncan Forbes. The present chief of the clan, Nigel, 22nd Lord Forbes, served in the Grenadier Guards and fought in the Second World War before becoming Minister of State for Scotland in the Conservative government of Harold Macmillan in 1958-59. Today, the Forbes family is a respected and influential force in Scottish society, with a deep commitment to preserving the traditions and values of their ancestors. They are known for their strong sense of community, their love of the land, and their dedication to service. The history of Clan Forbes is a testament to the resilience and determination of the Scottish people, and the enduring power of family, and tradition in shaping the course of history.